Hi, all. Welcome to the session. Uh, I'm very excited to share this news. Uh, we are going to start a new batch this month, mostly on uh, third week of uh, this month. Okay, Oracle Business Institute, DBA, Real-Time Online Training. It's one more name. We call it as Oracle Apps DBA. Or Oracle Business Institute DBA or Oracle Apps DBA, Application DBA, both are same. So we are going to start this training online training completely with real time uh, ex uh, like examples and real time approach we are following and then we are providing this training so next like who should learn or a class gp you can say like any administrator like it's it, it could be any other dba other uh, like sql or uh, mysql or db2 dba or postgres mongo any any administrator they can learn this and they can get a job as an oracle application dba as oracle dba also they can learn it that is like it is recommended them especially for oracle dbs for other uh, database administration so administrators as well they can learn it and also for students those who are uh, uh, trying to learn uh, new technical skills like anything, any Java or, or any other develop, uh, developer kind of uh, technical skills, if they are looking, they can uh, take this as an, one of the opportunity in IT, okay, as an Oracle application DBA. So it is, I mean, uh, as a fresher, we have less opportunities, I can say, but yeah, in nowadays, uh, companies are looking for freshers as well. Okay, even in uh, if you learn apps DB and then you are waiting uh, for job search, you will get these opportunities. Okay, then uh, as a role, like as an apps DBA or e business suit uh, database administrator, what is our roles and responsibilities? As a DBA, like apps DBA, our role is to support application health, e business suit application. We need to take care of that. Okay, start and stop taking the backups of uh, e-business suite and maintenance uh, activities. So users creation, some of the concurrent managers, uh, workflows, login issues, support and all. And also some migrations, code migrations and all. We used to support. We will discuss clearly uh, what are all the exact rules and responsibilities for apps DBA, but it's a majorly user management kind of one and also system administrator roles and some of the uh, AD utilities will be there, uh, how we can use those AD utilities. So it is not that much complex. Anybody can learn it. It's a very simple course. Also, we have a huge market is there. If somebody uh, already working in different technology, if they are looking to learn new uh, technical skill in IT, uh, I can suggest them to go for apps DBA. It is very easy for anybody. Not it's not it's uh, we are having very less code. We don't need to write much code as a up to five to six years of experience. After that, if you want to uh, grow yourself, like if you want to learn some automation kind of one, we can make some of the application DBA tasks as an automated. You can use Python script or you can use shell script, other scripts also we can uh, use it. But it is even I can say zero coding also, they, I can say, but uh, to explore more on apps DBA, after five years or six years of your experience, then you can focus on coding as well. But that is also very less coding compared to that. It is not a developer one. Okay. Anybody can learn these things. And what is the prerequisites? I mean, as I said, even freshers can learn this and then they can start their career as an apps DBA. Uh, better if somebody is having Oracle Core DBA, Oracle Database Experience, they can easily uh, grab this, what exactly the application uh, database administration. Okay, why? Because for this application, as I mean, this is an extra for Core DBAs, Oracle DBAs. This application, uh, how we are going to install and how we are going to integrate with this database. Okay, so as an apps DBA, uh, anybody can learn there is no like specific things like you need to learn this you required if, if you go for a uh, java developer right you required core advanced then now uh, some other uh, names also came into the picture right full stack developers and all so we don't have such kind of uh, lengthy or huge uh, heavy heavy uh, topics 
uh, for anybody can learn it. If you have a Oracle DB knowledge, that is better. Okay, not recommended also. Like it is not required, not recommended, not required. But if you have, good to have. That's it. Anybody can learn it. And if you you need to learn some of the Linux commands, if uh, like 30 to 40 commands will be there to operate these things, how we are going to create a user, uh, OS users and all, and how we are going to uh, connect with the servers, database and application server, how we are going to switch sudo commands, switch commands, cd command, ls commands, uh, around 30 to 50 commands will be there, very easy those are. Uh, anybody can easily learn those things. Th that's it. Nothing much as a, like to learn apps TV. We can start. Anybody can start to learn directly the apps TV. While you are learning, also you will get to know the basics. We will teach you what you need to uh, learn, like basics of the Oracle DB and basics of the Linux uh, commands. And uh, mostly one or two days, you guys will get those information, those knowledge as well. And coming to Oracle EBS or apps DBA course index. We have earlier versions 11i also there, uh, 11, 5, 10, 2 and other uh, versions, but those are not supported. Uh, nowadays, we're actually supporting e e business with R12 to onwards. Latest is R12 to 12 is the latest one. Uh, I can mention X. We will give the training on 12 to only. Okay. But we will give you the 12.13 experience as well. But now most of the customers are already moving to 12.2. Why? Because the 12.1 previous version of e-business suite is almost, they have ended the support. Means if already somebody is uh, using the 12.13, if they have any production issues and all, they are running on the extended or premium, uh, extended licenses and all. So we will give you the difference between the previous version and this version. It is more flexible and uh, different architecture compared to the 12.1. Okay, we will give the training on e-business to 12 to latest versions and also most of the customers already they are using this. So introduction, course index, we can say introduction to ERP. What is ERP? Enterprise Resource Planning. And uh, how Varakil e-business suit, it's uh, one of the ERP solution. E-business suit is EBS, we can say EBS, Enterprise, EBS, right? Enterprise Business Suit. So this is our application where we are going to learn this topic. This is this topic is came from one of this solution, ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning Solution. Okay, we have a main competitor like SAP is there, but leader is Oracle only for this ERP solutions. Uh, most of the products, uh, Oracle is the leader. Okay. And then we will talk, talk about architecture, how it is, and then the file system. We have different file system for previous version, EBS R12.1, uh, R12.1, and 12.2, we have different architecture, okay? We will discuss 12.2 uh, architecture, and also I'll uh, explain what is what exactly the 12.1 architecture, then you will get easily. Okay, file system, like dual file system you are using here, it is a single file system. We'll talk about a uh, clear cut picture when we are uh, in this architecture uh, and file system concepts course are training. And I'll show you how to install this e-business suite and also administration tasks. Administration is like how we are going to start and stop the e-business suite. What is the order we need to follow to start and stop? Those we will learn this topic. And AD utilities, we have around uh, 15 plus AD utilities are there. Uh, we will discuss each and every uh, utility. Okay, most of them we are not using on a regular basis. Four or five utilities on AD utilities are less than 10 AD utilities we are using on a regular basis. We'll talk about that. AD patch will be there, Adapt will be there, and AD relink will be there, AD admin will be there. So we'll talk uh, those things as well. And uh, auto config. Okay. This is uh, one of the important concepts in e-business suite. Uh, this will configure your application file system, configuration uh, things, whatever the configurations we are making on this file system, EBS file system, it will update those configurations. So it's very, very important as and when we are going to use this configuration, we must know about this tool, then only uh, we are good to handle the administration task for e-business suite. I'll explain clear cut uh, on this part as well. And the patching. Uh, previously in 12.1 environment, we used AD patch utility. Now we, use, we are using Adopt. 
application DBA online patch. That is the abbreviation that we use Eddy Adopt tool to apply the patches on eBusiness 22 in environment and system administrator, sysadmin task. We call it as a sysadmin task, sysadmin or system admin task. These are completely on front end side. We can do also back end. Also, we can update uh, these informations. But I can say in the front end uh, core database, we can say the back end e business suite is on our front end and back end. Both we have to work. Uh, front end means like how uh, we are accessing our uh, internet, right? If you are logging to Gmail, you have clear cut picture. If you log into the Facebook, you have on views and menus. Uh, things will be there, right? Your profile access and all. Likewise, we have in a business suit also, we have a one front-end application login. I'll show you that as well. And once you log into the front-end, what are all the activities we are going to perform? Creating the users, adding the responsibility, creating the responsibility, concurrent managers, management, profiles management, and um, workflow management, everything. Whatever we are talking about this topic, right? Those all we are managing from the front end and back end both the ways, but mostly we can uh, use the system administrator. Sysadmin is the admin user to perform all these things. Okay, and concurrent processing. It's an important thing. Uh, whatever the tasks which we are performing, everything is going through these jobs only. Concurrent processing uh, server will be there. On top of that, concurrent requests and concurrent programs will be there. Uh, what is concurrent request and what is concurrent program? We will discuss clear cut uh, on this part as well. It is also one of the important topic. This thing and this thing is very important. And cloning, how we are, are doing, uh, how we are going to perform the clone on e-business suite. Okay, that uh, for that we need to do the database clone and application clone. Both we need to do it. Okay, here we 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 should have Oracle database and Oracle eBusiness Suite software. Both will be there. How you are going to perform the cloning? We will discuss that as well. And also we will discuss about workflow management. What exactly this means? What is workflow and how we are going to manage? How we are going to start and stop the yeah. workflow? How we are going to configure the workflow? Okay, what are all the repeated issues we are getting on workflows? Those we will discuss. And the password management, another topic. Password management means to log in that application uh, front end, we need to create a users and uh, we have to provide them the responsibilities, how we are going to manage. And somebody will say that after we are providing the user ID and password, they need to log into the front end and then uh, they need to perform their task, right? Uh, as and when they required user access we need to provide and if any user is logged if they are unable to log in we need to support them to log in how we are going to perform this also quarterly we are going to uh, change our admin passwords uh, that also we can uh, discuss on this password management that is also one of the important and then uh, i'll talk about high level of uh, these things are very very important in normal courses most of them will, may not include uh, but in our uh, training, we are going to discuss about all these four uh, important topics as well. How we are going to uh, handle our business suite on OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Oracle Cloud, how our business suite will be. Okay, the uh, approaches, how we are going to migrate, the approaches we will talk about uh, completely on this topic. And then it is important if somebody already, I mean, uh, one of them, uh, some of them are uh, still in uh, EBSR 12.1 environments. Uh, if they want to move their environment from 12.1 to 12.2, EBSR 12.1 to 12.2, we will discuss how, what is the approach we need to follow, what are all the high level steps, what is the upgrade steps, that upgrade steps I'll show you. And then for login to the C-Business Suite, we have single sign-on. It is very, very important. Most of them, uh, those who are already working in a apps DBA, they might not have an experience on this as well. How to handle the SSO logins and that. We will discuss also this huge setup uh, to do in our uh, lab setups and that. But I can manage to explain uh, the things, how exactly the real-time uh, scenarios, what are all the issues we, we will get and how we are going to troubleshoot. Uh, SSO related login issues, single sign on login issues for EBS. Okay, and this is the same EBS on OCI, that is same. Also, we'll talk about interview question and answers. I'll share my interview experience and also uh, till now I have taken n number of interviews as well. Uh, that experience also I'll show uh, as part of this course. Okay. And uh, this course uh, duration is 45 hours. 
complete it's uh, yeah, planning for weekend batch uh, it it will be uh, we can plan to change uh, according to the request which we uh, received on on top of I mean on top of that request uh, we'll discuss but as of now we are planning for weekday batch itself monday to friday weekday and uh, i'm planning to uh, give the demonstration on 9th of september uh, next saturday and at 7:30 pm ist i'll share the demonstration uh, details soon uh, it could be a, a live i'll share the live uh, details for this course uh, demonstration details not the course so demonstration for this course it could be it, it definitely in 9th september it's a fixed and time also it is fixed 7:30 pm ist 9:30 uh, am est 8:30 am cst 6:30 am pst time zones okay we will provide the lab setups on your pcs or laptops uh, for that you require a configuration 16 gb ram and uh, 400 gb storage is required okay if any possibility on cloud access is also i'll support uh, if you have any uh, free uh, cloud access like even oracle is providing 30 days free uh, cloud access okay i'll guide you to set up your uh, lab on oci as well that is also possible uh, if you have a laptop it is good to practice each and everything i'll demo uh, i'll i'll give that all the lab sessions uh, from my uh, machine I'll show you clear cut. We are using this uh, Oracle VM Virtual Manager. Here I'll I'm going to configure the e-business suite. I can show you uh, from the step one onwards. Anybody can easily learn uh, from this stage how to install, how we are going to uh, start and stop performing our uh, e-business suite activities. Okay, and course records I will share you through the Google uh, Google Drive. Uh, as of now, I'm sharing uh, with the live uh, with the core dba topic is going on and uh, we are sharing the uh, lab sessions through the uh, google drive i'll show you the drive how we are going to perform so here it is uh, 19c uh, batch is going on uh, we are we are going to upload uh, this is lifetime access we will provide you all the live recorded sessions we will upload it uh, here and then you can access anytime okay and uh, if somebody is not uh, able to view this one like I have shared this is my blog engineersdv.blogspot.com so I'm sharing uh, my technical knowledge here if you want to learn more on core and apps dba and also other things SSO things you can go through this blog and also I have a YouTube channel there also I'm going to share uh, uh, all the core and apps dba and middleware cloud knowledge you can uh, search at the rate of Axe Infotech in YouTube, you'll find on my YouTube channel. Okay. And further details, and for if you require any uh, course related details, you can contact on this raxinfotech at gmail.com or else you can ping me on my uh, blog as well, here, uh, in YouTube channel as well, or my blog as well. Any, any like, any way you can contact me for other details okay yep thanks for uh, watching this and uh, i hope uh, we will meet on 9th september thank you so much